hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're starting at the beginning of our journey asking the most fundamental question, what is cloud computing? So looking into the dictionary, cloud computing is described as the practice of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data rather than a local server or a personal computer. So when we're talking about local, we describe this as being on-premise, so being your own office or your own data center, and this is where you own the servers, you hire the IT people, you pay the rent or the real estate, you take all the risk. Whereas with a cloud provider, if you're utilizing them, it's someone else who owns the servers, someone else who hires the IT people, someone else who pays or rents the real estate, and you are only left with being responsible for configuring your cloud services and code, and someone else takes care of the rest. Sounds great, doesn't it? So now what I want to do is just give you a quick overview of how servers have evolved. What we describe as cloud computing from a technical perspective, and we'll probably dive deeper into this later in the course, but we're just going to get a good overview here to understand from a business perspective. So way back in the day, what we had was dedicated servers. If you wanted a server to run your web app or your technology, what you had to do is you had to go buy a single dedicated physical machine, and that was for one specific business. Dedicated servers are still used today but there's some downsides with them. They're very expensive, they're high maintenance. However, you do get a great level of customization and you potentially can have better security based on your use case. Then what came along was virtual private servers where we still had one physical machine, but it was still dedicated to a single business. So we figured out how to take that physical machine and virtualize it into submachines. So now we could fully utilize or better utilize that physical server with running multiple apps. We didn't have to buy four different servers for four different apps. We could easily run four web apps into four for virtual submachines. Then we had shared hosting, and this made it a lot easier for anybody who was building websites or WordPresses. But the idea here is that you had one physical machine and it was shared by hundreds of businesses. So it wasn't a single business sharing the cost, it was multiple businesses. This relies on most tenants under utilizing the resources though. So if you had 100 people on a server and one person used more of the server than the others, then you could all potentially suffer from that case. But at the very least, you are getting very, very cheap servers, but there are definitely some limitations. So now coming down to cloud hosting, cloud hosting gives us the best of both worlds. So we have multiple physical machines that act as one system, which could be described as the cloud. And that system is extracted away into multiple cloud services. So you get flexibility and scalability. It's very secure, it's very cost effective, and it's highly configurable. So that is where we're currently at. And that is generally what cloud computing and cloud hosting is about.